Bobby Richardson, second baseman for the New York Yankees, signed his 1962 contract today for $25,000, leaving Roger Maris as the lone bomber without a contract. Mickey Mantle recently signed for $85,000, a number that may explain why Maris rejected the club's offer of $60,000. According to his friends, Maris feels that since it was he and not Mantle who broke Babe Ruth's home run record last year, the difference between Mantle's salary and his should be considerably less than $25,000. In a recent interview, the 27-year-old Maris sounded Sounded like a man already contemplating retirement. Well, uh, I don't know. I I think I've really gotten more out of this game than I've ever expected to get on hitting those 61 home runs, and uh, I'd like to play it for a few more years. Naturally, a person likes security, especially when you have a family such as I do. I have four children now. My wife and I are both uh, young yet, and we're liable to have quite a few more. So I think the best thing you can look forward to is a little bit of security with a big family. The New York Mets, meanwhile, are holding their first ever training camp in St. Petersburg, Florida. This morning, a member of the American Rocket Society lectured the club on propulsion, life on other planets, and the challenges of atmospheric re-entry in the wake of John Glenn's orbital flight. Then, the distinguished lecturer went out to pitch batting practice. The Renaissance Met is Jay Hook, a right-hander who for the past three years has been working on his earned run average and his master's degree in mechanical engineering. Following today's lecture, a teammate asked the pitcher to compare the relative achievements of astronaut John Herschel Glenn and home run king Roger Eugene Mack. After careful consideration, Hook made the following assertion, quote, I give it as my final suited opinion that 61 home runs is a more impressive individual score than three orbits around the Earth, unquote. 